やったー Okay, guys, so we have something new today. So we have a new tool from Runway ML that allows you to convert your images into a video. So you can see on the right, this is the, the input image, and on to the left is the video. Now you can see it's not perfect. The face changes quite a bit and it gets blurrier as things go. But generally speaking, in this example, I think it's not too bad. Now let's、uh, see how we can get there. And I am going to go to Runway ML's website. So this is their website right here. And basically,、uh, just type in runwayml.com and it'll take you to that website. And then just click here where it says Gen 2 now available. Try now. And when you click on that and you go to the Gen 2 website, It's going to take you to the dashboard after logging in. You could just use any Google account to log in、uh, to make things quick. And then you just click on introducing Gen 2. And right here, and this is the actual interface. So I only have like nine seconds left, but basically all you do is click here and upload an image that you want. So what I'm going to do is come over here and. I am going to upload this image right here. And it's going to take a little bit to upload. And once it's uploaded, you have to not add any text prompt. So I've experimented with this quite a bit. And if you add a text prompt, it actually screws things up quite a bit. So just keep it empty and then click generate. And then this will take a few minutes. So let's look at some of the examples that I've created so far. Okay, so here is this one right here. There is a woman in a lab coat, and there's explosions in the background. So you kind of see that the character's face is changing quite a bit. The other thing that's also happening is that the explosion in the background really isn't animating.、Um, it's as if Runway ML doesn't really recognize. The explosions should move, especially mushroom clouds should rise to the top. And here's another one. So we have two characters in this video. And you can see the characters themselves are moving, but you can see the faces are getting distorted quite a bit. And, and then there's some background activity as well、uh, people moving. And there is a floating hand in the middle for、uh, some reason. Okay, here's the、uh, next one. So, this one is Ayaka from the game Genshin Impact, but you can see the face gets distorted very, very quickly.、Um, and I think it's basically because Runway ML doesn't really recognize faces all that well yet. So, let's get the next one. So, this one. Was part of the、uh, AI art compilation that I did a couple days ago. And you can see, again, the face changing quite a bit. And the hand is appearing out of nowhere right here. And then it's merging with the lion's face. So, yeah, it's very, very strange. This is Eula from Genshin Impact. And you can see it's relatively okay. And it seems like as long as the face covers a large part of the screen, You can get some pretty decent level of image coherence. Okay, the next one, this one is a, well,、uh, a view of a landscape, I guess, and there's some person in the background dancing right here. And、um, you can see a little bit of wind and dust moving around. So sometimes what happens with runway MLs, you don't really get very good animations happening. And、not a whole lot of movement happens sometimes. So, this one was from the thumbnail. You can kind of see the face changing a little bit, and then the teeth. The teeth get s very creepy.、Uh, <laughs> from the normal number of teeth, it almost looks like her teeth multiplies, and her entire、uh, open mouth turns into teeth basically. <laughs> so, it's a little creepy, yeah. Okay, and let's look at the next one here.、And、you can see this one's like the steam,、uh, steampunk、uh, garden. 
uh, greenhouse kind of a, kind of a theme. And then you can kind of see her eyes, um, her pupils go away, uh, her iris goes away. So it's just white eyes all of a sudden without a whole lot of movement either. So you can see a little bit more lighting effects happening. And, you know, one of the things with this is that you have to do a lot of generations to get something relatively decent. And I find that like out of maybe 10 or 15 generations, uh, you might get one that's relatively usable in this case. And this one here, <laughs> um, the fast food theme one, and then you could kind of see uh, another head pops out out of her head right here. So you could get some really uh, strange things happening like this. And also here, this was the office theme with like a one piece suit. And again, her face becomes very, very distorted. The character completely changes into something else. But if you pay attention to the background, it's relatively coherent. The city in the background stays coherent. The desk is relatively neutral. Okay, and then this one is the kimono uh, in Fireflies. And then you, know, you can tell the Fireflies aren't moving at all. The only thing that's moving is the character itself. Okay, so let's see if that thing is done now. It should be done. Okay, so let's look at what it looks like. So it's, well, uh, <laughs> it wasn't terrible initially, and then it started getting kind of weird. So, yeah, you know, this is this is a problem with uh, Gen 2 Runway ML. It's, it's a hit or miss for sure. And it's expensive. So if you, right now I'm just on the free plan. Um, and the free plan only allows you to have um, up to 125 credits, so it's not very much. If you want to actually make a lot of video, well, you're going to have to fork up quite a bit, uh, at least this much, if not the unlimited version. Because one of the things that's happening is that well, maybe out of 20 generations, you might get one that's usable. But, of course, if you're just looking for something that's funny, like this, well, you could just uh, just make however many of these as you want. Because, well, these are easy to make because it just gets incoherent pretty quickly. So there's another one that I did with a larger face kind of a thing. And these tend to stay relatively coherent but it still does become incoherent over time. So this is only four seconds long, and I'm kind of wondering what will happen if it was longer. But right now, with Gen 2, the limitation is only uh, um, four seconds long. It can't do anything longer than that. And sometimes you get like really strange things happening, like this one right here, where the character changes and then the arm comes out of the... Uh, the back side of the body and then the body completely changes and that's one of those things that's like anatomy doesn't stay consistent uh very well and here there's another face here and overall it wasn't terrible but there wasn't a whole lot of movement it was mostly like a zoom in effect which you can pretty much do with any image just by itself so you know like overall it's not horrible but if you're wanting to look to make some kind of professional looking video, just using completely all AI images, uh, it's going to be pretty tough to do. Um, it's going to be pretty expensive and oh, even the full resolution, it's not going to, you're never going to, you're not going to get 4k images. Basically, you're not going to get 4k videos. All right. So. All right, let's look at the next one here. Um, let's see. So this one, this one was Kafka, kinda, but you could also see it's not very good. There's hardly any movement either. There's some light in the background, and there's some weird movement in the hips right here. So sometimes you, when you do the generation, there's nothing happening. And this one was the worst one. Um, Basically, this was a thumbnail for the right end video that I did, and absolutely nothing happened. There was no movement whatsoever in the background. Also, everything got distorted too. 
So, you know, you can wait, end up wasting a lot of credits just generating something that's, well, pretty much useless. So, you know, this is Runway ML Gen 2 image to video. So it's not bad. It's fun to play with for sure. But so far, I would say that as far as like professional usage goes, I don't think it's ready for that. I think it's fine if you're trying to make something funny, uh, a little bit uh, glitchy and a little bit weird. And I think, you know, people could have fun with that. All right, let's look at the next one here. So I wanted to see if there was like a open source, more like an alternate uh, model for this. And there was another one that I found called Pika. And this one is also, you could use image as a base to animate <clears throat> and it looks overall not too bad at least on their uh, demonstration videos uh, the video looks relatively coherent but the problem is right now their beta is closed so if you click on join beta well type form is now closed so the beta is uh, over um, at least they have enough beta testers right now and we'll see what happens with Pika. It's at the moment free because, well, for the people who have access to the beta, they can use it for free. But right now, um, I guess we'll see what happens. Um, the other one that is open source is Potat1. And Potat1, you can run it on your own computer, but you need a really powerful GPU. You at least need a GPU with a 16 gigabytes of VRAM. And the other limitation is that it generates extremely short videos. So this is like on their demo, like only one second long. It's very, very short. And hardly anything is happening here. So this was released about a month ago. And supposedly Potat 2 is in the oven, so the next generation should be coming out soon. I'm not sure how much longer it's going to take uh, for the model to be trained, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. So I generated a couple more uh, through Potat 1, and this is one of them that I uh, generated. And, you know, it's very weird. So I was only able to create a, a less than one second. So it was 0 0.6 seconds of video. And you can see the background is okay. Like it's moving in a relatively coherent manner, but the characters are just, you know, what the heck is happening right here? <laughs> the arms and legs pretty much flailing around. Okay, so the next one that I want to show is this one here. So this one is supposed to be a well, a, well, a woman, and well, there's almost no movement happening whatsoever. 0 0.6 seconds of this video, and also here, hardly anything is happening right here. So you know, the open source models right now for text to video or image to video, it is not good at all. Uh, it's practically useless um, aside from, you know, making funny videos. So at the moment, Runway Gen 2 looks like it is the best. It is the best right now. And we'll see what happens. Uh, this field is moving extremely quickly. And maybe by next month, we'll have something that uh, you could generate maybe 8 seconds of video, 10 seconds of video with a little bit more coherence. Right? So I think that'll be really cool. And, you know, like some of the videos that people are making right now, it's it's, it's pretty funny. Um, like, for example, like this one here, this is like a beer commercial uh, that uh, someone made. And you can see that it starts off relatively normal-ish, but you can see there's a lot of weird things happening in the background with the hands, with the mouth. And then over time, the uh, image loses coherence. And you can kind of see, like, everything starts to catch on fire. Like, what is this? Like, it's like some kind of a nightmare, almost. <laughs> All right. And then, you know, things like this. This one was a uh, very strange looking, like, this is 
this is all purpose uh everything sauce and uh yeah the the image or the video is just very strange looking um and then if you go over here like the straw is through this girl's cheeks right here and then the way they're moving is very weird and there was another part right here where <laughs> the mouth is very um distorted so in some ways it's like yeah it's kind of cool to look at but it's also nightmarish too because the face becomes just so weird looking and especially the intro part of this video is just so weird like the like the the guy's uh mouth on the left it was just like oh it's like the mouth is melting or something it's just so gross <laughs> But yeah, so these are the kind of things that are uh, going right now. I wish I could have been in the beta to kind of show you guys what else is happening. But unfortunately, the beta for Pika is closed, so we won't be able to do anything with that. There is also this page here at GitHub where there is a ton of text to video image to video video to video type of a uh, tool that you can use in collab so google collab up to a certain point is free to use uh, you could also download some of these models and run it on your own pc so if you look at some of these examples right here so this one's from potat you can see it's very short video like you see strawberries bouncing around um this is the background image of like uh some waterfalls and stuff like that so it's relatively not too bad looking this is space you know very short video and you can see some of the other uh, examples here so this is a model scope which has the infamous shutterstock watermark still on it and yeah you can use these uh tools for free right now on this uh, github page i'll post the link in the description and i think that's about it for this gu one guys uh if i if there's any more updates on image to video or text to video type of tools i'll make another video and i'll see you guys on the next one peace